What's up, fellas? YouTube. RJ from Reverly Fitness here. Why you're now making gains, episode one. First episode, we're going to establish why you're not making gains. One reason. Frequency. Or in other words, consistency. You see, no matter what it is in life, any skill or discipline that you want to master or get any level of good at, you have to be consistent with. If you're going weeks, months, years without doing something, do not be surprised if you stall or even regress at that particular thing. Now, occasionally a deload week is necessary, especially for somebody like me that advocates for going to failure because when you have limited equipment like I do, going to muscular failure ensures that you will auto-regulate your progress and that as long as you're getting enough sleep and you and uh, adequate nutrition and you see your reps going up in terms of what you can do you know you're making progress because you can do more reps therefore you're getting stronger and therefore you will most likely get bigger but what that gets into I lost track I have a bad habit of doing that but you see what I mean oh yeah deload weeks <laughs> I just found it sometimes you need a deload week because of what I just said about myself when you train very hard. But that is different from taking an entire month off or even two weeks off. Two weeks can be very detrimental. Uh, two weeks off, if you take two weeks off of training, you will feel noticeably weaker when you go back into it. It won't be quite as exaggerated if you take a whole month off, but two weeks, I'd hate to do that. I think at most, I might go four or five days without training if I'm feeling super depressed or just lack of energy and I'm very busy, you know, something like that. I might take three or four days off. But usually if I do have time off, it's not really time off. It's just I'm training, but it's lighter. When you take a whole month off, two months off, you got to start all over again and build up. Now, it's not like you're starting from uh, ground zero. If you're, you know, you've been lifting for a while and you've made a lot of progress it's not like you're starting all the way back from the beginning. You've got to redo like five years of lifting. But you feel noticeably weaker. Performance is noticeably down. And as a, as a beginner, if you are not able to be consistent, you know, you can't, you'll make beginner gains, but they'll be very slow. Get I? I made my beginner gains uh, my first few years lifting, but Really, the gains that I should have made within my first year took me about three years to make because I wasn't consistent. I didn't have that frequency. What is frequency? Frequency is how many times you do something. As it relates to training, it's how often you work a muscle, let's say within a given week. Uh, there's four weeks in a month. There's four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 20, 20, 20, 48, about 48 weeks in a year. If you're hitting a muscle group two to three times a week, that is a lot more optimal than hitting a muscle group once a week, which is what a bro split would essentially do. That's why we advocate against bro splits because the frequency is bad and frequency and consistency are interlinked. You can literally see why, because if you're taking time off, you're not being frequent. That is why I wanted to establish in the beginning that there is a very key difference between a deload week and simply not doing anything. He's biting me. Yeah. Biting me. Biting me. Biting me, boy. You wanna get up? Leave then. You don't wanna hang out with me? Leave. Leave. That's how he shows his love, he loves me. But frequency and consistency, you can't separate the two. Your frequency is gonna be bad if you're not consistent. If you're not consistent, I was trying to do a wordplay there, but that doesn't work. That's just, no. But you see what I mean. It's very pertinent, not just as a beginner, but at any level, that you stay somewhat consistent. Now I understand that uh, things happen in life and sometimes you need time off somebody in the family passes away God forbid that happens to you anytime soon, but 
stuff like that does happen. It's okay, because you know you do need that time to yourself. Uh, me personally, I find it therapeutic to exercise and do things that that I don't have to do, but I do because I want to do. You know. So, I, if you're in that situation, I would consider doing it for therapeutic reasons. You know, just try it. But if you need time off, I understand. But that's basically it. That's episode one, why you're not making gains. Lack of consistency, which therefore means you have a terrible exercise frequency, which means you're not stimulating your muscles very often, which means you won't get bigger. That'll do it for today's video. Like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff to help out so that people can see honest fitness information, fitness information, rather than poopy nonsense. Now, from me and the kit, we're signing out.